Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Today I'll be doing another review. This one is actually a fairy tale this time around. It's 400 chapter 481. Historia of Corpses. So um, yeah, this is uh, a brand new puppy actually here. Come on, let me just take a look at everything. See him. Alright. See? Cute, right? Alright. Alright, so um... Yeah, that's my brand new puppy right there. He's, uh, he, he pretty much fights everything. You know, so I don't get to him, he just falls off. We're not going to send him to him, but you know, that's what I get. But I was like, pet in general, like a pet. Right now, I have no idea what he's doing, but you're going to have to change his plan. So let's start at the top of page one. So, for both magic and spirits, a sense of freedom is paramount. By Hiero Mashima. Let's continue on to page two, which most likely is um yeah, bang on. Okay, let's go to page three. Okay, I got three times this is um page four. Okay, so missing at the top of page. Nope. Okay, page four is more bad. Okay, they look pretty good by the way. Um and let's go on to page five and then do it. So you did well to take notice in that short instance. Indeed, what you all are witnessing is your historia, or history. Uh, pain, tragedy, suffering, their own past will not become their enemy. Remember, historia is basically history. You know, it's just translated in Spanish. It's kind of like the same history, like historia, basically, but with an age of front of it, but with a Spanish view to it. So, the magician within your heart So history of the dead, that's what it actually translates to. So I can gaze into people's hearts. There are a myriad of emotions and sentiments to be found in the heart. And with my magic, you see, I can materialize those emotions into reality. The creation of life, that is the beauty of Historia. Kagura. So Kagura is the little girl who said that's my big brother. So apparently he's being controlled by this guy who uses the power of his story. Oh, okay, there he is. He's just buying something. Okay, <laughs> talking about my own puppy. Oh, you've gotten... Calm yourself. That's merely an illusion created by that magic. Silence. So she's um, pissed at the small fact that he would dare use her big brother that died a long time ago to actually taunt her. So that actually gets her angry enough to go for the attack. I'm insulted calling my creations a mere illusion. You witnessed it, did you not? The life I create can even use magic. It has memories and I personally, and a personality as well. Jela. So even Jela is being controlled by this historia power that he has under his control. So the question is, would he be able to get out of his grasp? That's what the main control scene, that's what the main subject of this chapter may, um, seems to be so let's see so kagura and jela are now basically uh plunged right to the ship he plunges them right to the ship as he pretty much submerges them into their past and with the snap of a finger he can actually bring people's past back to life and even the worst part of their past will even haunt them seems insane right you're did you go and forget me already miss urza ikaruga my beautiful history so Urza happens to know this woman, and we're about to see the the basically the uh, the the, the uh, he seems to know Lucy's history with his power because after he uh, was able to grab Lucy with his technique, he said, "What a beautiful history!" So it seems like he knows something about Lucy's history, and to him, it seems to be the most amazing and attractive to him. So this man unhand me at once. I must return to Urza and provide assistance. This scoundrel is responsible for my murdering my brother. So basically, a lot of uh, uh, emotions are overflowing. You are clearly not your use, usual self, Miss Urza. I feel none of the sharpness you had in the past. So apparently she's taunting her by saying, her, Oh, yeah, you're weak. You're not as good as you were as you were in the past. But the truth is he's stronger now. It's her injuries, no doubt. Urza, at her best, is far stronger than this. Azuma, 
Now then, I sure, I sure would like to bear witness to it, that incomparable strength of yours. So apparently she should be part of a group, I guess, of mercenaries, and uh, and they're they're fighting her, and she's now trying to fight both of them at the same time. So let's see how this works. She's doing pretty well dodging their techniques so far, you know, and Ursa's gotten pretty strong, so I wouldn't dare underestimate her at this point. You know, um... And then he uses a technique called Bleem. So it seems like he's controlling the wood around her to pretty much um, attack her, you know, and cause some damage. Rama Seika. Magsuryu Yasha. Okay, what about this stands for? I don't even know what this stands for. So, Empty Flash. There you go. So the translations are right under the pictures. So the, the technique she's using on page 16 is called Empty Flash. The historia of one who overcame countless powers, full foes, now magnificently beautiful. Behold, this is my magic, the power to conjure the very history of all your battles. Historia of corpses. So she's basically taking all her enemies, putting it right in front of her, and now Urza has to fight all of them at the same time. So you're dead. You're just terrible, Miss, Mr. Azuma. These souls, which originally had never in intersected with one another, my historia is binding them together. This is the epitome, the epitome of elegance and beauty. Now extend even further my historia of corpses. What is this sin chill? It can't be. So basically, Jalal is not familiar. Like, what is this chill? I already know this. Now then, it's about time I whip the two of you into shape. Zancro, so how is this possible that there are so even the elemental four that Julia was with are actually coming back to life and she's like how is this even possible how is the past coming back to haunt us like this and it seems like in this chapter they just have to overcome their fears of their past enemies each probably like erase them completely and then fight the enemy in front of them so let's see who overcomes this first Contrary to my ne necromancy, which manipulates the dead, this magic is somewhat different. How amusing indeed, from the hearts of those and the battle in the battlefield, the memories of power, full warriors are being conjured before our very eyes. These ya miss. Me, you little runt. What is this thing? Sharia, take Charles and run as far as you can. Now this... This is a sick and twisted joke. Yep. So it's you, the one with Yuri's blood flowing through his veins. So yeah, pretty much this is a sick and queer twisted joke. Because you just finished fighting all these enemies and now you gotta face them again. Like, come on. Is there any sense of like leniency here? Is this just, I doubt it, by the way. So come now. Can you provide? Can you provide? Can you provide me with more entertainment than this? You took the words right out of my mouth. Show me some quality entertainment. My historia of corpses, souls which bloom from the battlefield, go forth. So this guy is very weird in a sense because he uses like the past or supposedly dead bodies to actually counter them back up as their enemies. So this is very weird. What those who still live need more than anything is not to dwell on the past, but to look ahead and strive towards the future. You must live on. To be continued, chapter 482, Vigor. Vigor or Vigo, in other words. So basically, um, basically, uh, one of these celestial uh, beings at this point. That's what that, that's what that, that's what that title actually is pointing out to Vigor. So I guess Lucy has something to do with chapter 482 which will come out next week monday thank you for watching this chapter ladies and gentlemen as as always stay safe and as always i'll be here posting more content for you as well so thank you very much for watching this video and if you're new to my channel of course you can go to twitter and follow me up there you can also leave a like and you can also subscribe to my channel and you're also welcome to leave a comment thank you